Hello everyone, welcome back to Story Behind the Story. I'm your host Courtney Rowe and with me I have a brand new phase. I have Mr. Roman who did a story about the recent Maryville High School wrestling tourney in Excelsior Springs. But before we kind of jump into your story, I just want to introduce you to me and to the audience. So tell us who you are. Okay, um, Roman Metcalf. I'm a sophomore here at Northwest. Um, I'm a sports broadcasting major. Plan on going into work for like ESPN, sports radio station, something mm -hmm. like that after I graduate. Right now I'm a sports reporter for the Northwest Missourian. I cover Maryville wrestling. Um, in high school I played football and I wrestled, so this is not something new for me. Yeah. I'm used to the sport. I'm used to being around it and what all goes into it. So what got you into journalism then? Um, I'm not the best writer, but I like to be able to go cover things. I go to football games and different sporting events and I'll sh take pictures or shoot video um, and this was just kind of a, one way for me to go and actually tell a story. Yeah. Well it's so awesome that you get to do that here at Northwest. So to talk about your story, tell us what it was about. What did you cover? So I covered the uh, Maryville Spoof Hounds wrestling, men's wrestling team. They have a men's and women's wrestling team. Um, they went to Excelsior Springs, Missouri for districts this week. Um, districts you qualify, that will Okay, um, so for districts, that's where you qualify to go to state. If you lose, you go home. If you win, you punch your ticket to state and you get to wrestle for a team championship and an individual championship. So let's talk about those state qualifiers. You got to talk to Gavin Gray, who is one of them. He's a senior. Mm -hmm. So tell us who he is and what's the season been looking like? Uh, I, Gavin, I really haven't got much out of Gavin. He's kind of quiet. I mean, he'll he'll give me answers when I interview him, but it's not anything. I mean, he's pretty quiet, and uh, he's a like you said, he's a senior. Um, he's had a pretty good season. He's dealing with a or was dealing with a shoulder injury. Um, he he's wrestled through it, and he was able to punch his ticket to state. So we'll see uh, see if he can get it done. Last year he went to state, but he lost. I believe he lost in the first round. Mm -hmm. I know one thing that stood out to me that he said was that discussing his win, he was like, it's nothing to you know celebrate. My, this isn't necessarily an accomplishment, um, but I'm really just trying to focus on getting to state, focusing on that win, which kind of just shows that he's, he's got that mentality that he's, he's ready to win. He doesn't really care about what his successes are. He's just there for the sport. Now, kind of moving on to the next state qualifier, we have Kieran Watkins. So who is he and what did he have to say? Kieran, um, after talk, I mean, he's he's also quiet, but he's a really good kid. He, uh, I mean, he goes out there, he works, he grinds. Um, he went to, he's a, he was a state qualifier last year, went to state. He unfortunately lost in the first two rounds of state, and um, he's he's looking to bounce back this year as as well. So both of them are looking to bring up, bring home a state title or championship. So what did Coach Dallas have to say about his athletes? Um, he said it, going into this week he was going to make sure that they stayed mentally ready and, and got ready on the mat. So once it comes to time to uh, get out there and wrestle, they mm -hmm. go and compete. So now to kind of wrap everything up, tell us what we should expect from you in regards to future stories. Um, the wrestling, after this for wrestling, uh, probably won't be another story till next year. Uh, they will be wrestling at state. I'm going to cover that, and then don't know what's what my future holds after yeah. that. But yeah, so. well, I can't wait to read it. Thank you so much for sitting down with me today. It was nice to meet you, and it was nice to introduce you to our audience. Yeah. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.